We continue to elevate Latino voices with a visit to an art studio not far from downtown Denver. I'm excited to introduce you to a new friend of mine who decided to chase his first love, art, after some pretty dark days. Tucked between Federal and Alameda, you'll find Arturo Garcia's fine art gallery. You might think creating all of this has been a lifelong passion. I love your colors. Your colors are amazing. Yes, thank you. The truth is, it took decades before his art would come to life. Arturo's story starts in Mexico at the age of eight, when he first fell in love with paint at the Casa de la Cultura, the cultural center near his home. I still remember at 10 in the morning, so I'd be there before 10, and, and sometimes my mom would have to come and get me out of there because I just enjoyed it, it so much. That was my favorite day of the week. That day was Saturday. Art classes were free. A lot of these programs are sponsored in Mexico by expats, by Americans who live there permanently, and they do all this work for the community. Fast forward to today. Now I'm doing the same thing in a adopted country, and it's just so cool for me to be able to do that. Arturo offers his own free Saturday workshops to any kid that wants it. But I learn from them, you know, like the way they hold the brush, how the, the, the complete freedom they have to do whatever they want to do. Arturo's light shines bright today, but it hasn't always. For a while, I was sleeping in the darkness. I was walking without real, a real route. Ten years ago, cancer pushed Arturo near death. He was in the hospital for months. And if that struggle wasn't hard enough, he was also an alcoholic and addict. When somebody is confused, we are not capable of being aware of love. We are not capable of being aware of the gift that life is. Then the gift of clarity. Sitting on the couch with his son as he tossed a ball at the wall, he asked his son how he too could be happy and free. He looks at me with the ball in his hand and he goes, play. He threw the ball. What he was telling me was to get out of my darkness, or do whatever I want that motivated me to live. We must help. We must be of service to others in order for us to be well with everything. And you might spot Arturo's art around town. Right now, the Aurora History Museum is showing some of his paintings. I think art saved his life. I know. Yeah, yeah. it did. Yeah, he says he's a miracle because of it. Yeah, and it's so vibrant. It really is his personality yeah, that we see on the canvas. Just oh, terrific. Yeah.